people do this one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, yes. You're being lazy. Oh. God Who are you? I'm Zanny. Nice to meet you. Who came out here from far away? Everybody here from LA? Where are you where did you come from? Oh, uh, come on, man, it's no fun. At least come up with a really, really believable lie. We're from Japan. Well, they're from Japan. That's really cool. Wow, how is the flight? Long? <laughs> Okay, good. Because guess what I'm going to sing next? <laughs> what are the opening themes from Eureka 7? I'm going to sing next. Uh, I want the red one. Yeah, I'm singing at the halftime show. You guys can hear this all again later.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is an actual important announcement. Someone has lost their credit card. You may want to check your wallets, your purses, your husband's wallets, purses, wife's wallet, purses, significant other wallet. Kids, check if the kids bought any extra Pokemon once you were looking. So please check if you've got your wallet or your credit cards. If not, check with security, which I think is that way. Isn't it? That way security. Over this way in the alleyway, next to the cosplay. Hi, everybody! Hi, so, welcome to uh, Nisei Week. It is uh, cosplay day here at the stage. We have a wonderful amount of cosplayers. Uh, for those who love anime, we're glad you're here. Hi, I'm Tadao Tomomatsu. Uh, Let's see, how many have seen Heroes? The TV show? How many, yeah, how many have seen the... Hi, I'm the Japanese translator in that show. Except I don't speak Japanese. I'm not sure how I got the role. I guess why it's called acting. Uh, I'm an actor, yes. You don't see me. Have anyone seen Bonsai? It was a crazy TV show. Yeah. Here, come here a second. Hello, how are you doing? Please tell me what is your favorite flavor underwear. Uh, what do you like most about the Godzilla Frank steaks over a slow roasted volcano? Do you like rice? This is not going to work. And this is where I'd be shaking hands with everyone. Oh, you can stop now. <laughs> I'm shaking hands with a few celebrities. Gotten kissed by Beyonce Knowles with Jay-Z five feet away. And I'm still alive. I consider that a win. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's very hard being a Japanese actor in Los Angeles. I auditioned for Pearl Harbor, they told me I wasn't Japanese enough. <laughs> Seriously. You know, and it's like, I even auditioned for Galaxy Quest. I'm a big Star Trek, Star Wars, I'm a big nerd as far as that goes, yeah. Ooh. Live well, don't, don't perspire. You know, uh, just never give up, never surrender. Yes, I, I auditioned for Galaxy Quest and they told me I wasn't geeky enough. Yeah, tell me about that. So, uh, I've led an interesting life. Now, this is the part where we say, Tadao, we're going to have you speak in front of the crowd because we're still getting the cosplayers organized, but that's okay. Look, shiny. So, this is the standard test. I do a lot of conventions. So, repeat after me. Or those of you know the next line. Menomina. 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 How much longer do we have to wait? Okay, the little ch the little kid in front who's got a very large sword that's glowing in the dark is saying how much longer we have to wait. Uh, soon, it'll be soon. Here, hang on, I know. Here, have a sticker. Wait, here. Here, have some tea. Want tea here. Okay. Here, have some glasses. There you go. Glasses. Although, Mom, I wouldn't have him look through those. Those are my prescriptions. It'll look funny after a while. No, just kidding. Oh. Hang on. Here, hang on.
introduce everybody. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our cosplay event here. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the V. Oh, everybody, hold on. Can everybody do me a really huge favor? If you see rappers on the ground, please pick them up and throw them in a proper trash receptacle because we want to keep Little Tokyo clean. Thank you. Or for those of you who know to do this, tournament origami. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, the V3CS Cosplay uh, Contest, hosted by V3 Cosplay, Syndicate at Pacific Media Expo. Uh, just to let you know, here's a little what we want to know about today. V3 is the Cosplay Syndicate, or V3, is a new breed of cosplay re uh, related organization with its primary interest as a media outlet, event coordinator, and a community of goodwill ambassadors. They are interested in all forms of cosplay, costuming, and reenactment, period clothing related and inspired fashions and yes. Just some of the things we'll let you know for today, what you're expecting. And let's just they are pleased to bring this event to you today at the same week tradition of cosplay contest. Also sponsored by PMX, the Pacific Media Expo, and will be November 11th through 13th at 2011 at the LAX Hilton. Uh, this year with a special Lolita guest doll delight. Uh, voice actors Christina V and Petra Buchar. Oh, Christina's going to be there. I owe her a soda. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> we have anime, manga, fashion, costume, uh, concert, martial arts, cosplay, and many other guests this year. Get five dollars off of registration. Uh, coupon code when you pick up an anime. Uh, when you can pick up an anime jungle, which is that way. And let's see. Go to www.pacificmediaexpo.com for more info and to register. This is a test. This is only a test. Mana mana. Oh, come on, guys. Leave me hanging. cosplay here. Want to take a few minutes to introduce, introduce our judges, and we have three craftsmanship judges. First of all, we have Victoria from Scarlet Rhapsody. Uh, Victoria, also known as uh, Scarlet Rhapsody, Victoria has been in the anime convention scene since Anime Expo 1999. She finds that sewing anime costumes and Dolby costumes are the best kind of stress relief and therapy. Recently, she has worked on stage productions with Loyal Marion, uh, 
uh, University Theatre Department, including The Taming of the Shrew, Catch-22, and Arabian Nights. She is currently costume designer for the L.A. Theatre of the Blind. In addition, Victoria has done plenty of nonprofit work for the Asian American community in the Bay Area, and she's proud to be giving back to the Asian American community today as one of your craftsmanship judges. Big round of applause, please. Next judge is Bridget Wu, Kabuki Killer. Bridget, aka Kabuki Killer in the cosplay realm, is known primarily for <laughs> I see. Is known primarily for her makeup techniques and knowledge with some of her most famously displayed cosplays, Mana from Malice Mixer, Mozidi Smoa, and Elegant Gothic Aristocrat. She has been a cosplayer since 2005 and has made many friends uh, with the lovers of Japanese rock music, both locally and abroad. She has many favorite series, brands, and games, but is also known for her ability to remain unbiased. She is very excited to be here. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Love that. Our next judge is Excel from the Free Cosplay Syndicate. Last but certainly not least, Excel or Miss Jin Kanazagi is currently the head of the Media and Promotions Department for the Free Cosplay Syndicate. She is a talented cosplayer and gamer in her own right. Having started her cos display, her own custom uh, cosplays four years ago in 2007, she has been on the scene since the early 2000s. But her real person is in media. She is an accomplished journalist, blogger, having quite an eye for detail and those knows for the news. And she has earned many titles, one of the most known being on critic. But today she's just here to admire and review our contestants' creative cosplays, and she promises she won't make anyone cry. But seriously, folks, she's thrilled to be here this beautiful afternoon. We are also honored to have two guest judges, our two honoree guest judges. Ginger Burton from GNB Cosplay. Ginger of GNB Cosplay has been studying fashion design and pattern making for most of her life. She has always enjoyed sewing and creating her own clothes. And as she has such several degrees and certifications from California State Northridge in the field of fashion, and she hopes one day to debut her own Hanujuku inspired clothing line. In 2007, she combined her own love of design and fashion with her love of anime, and GNB Cosplay was born. Ginger is the head of costumer, pattern drafter, and seamstress. And if she's not creating costumes for going to convention, she is working as editor-in-chief for Otaku Sanctuary magazine. Please help us in welcoming one of our honored ju judges, Ginger! And Flo Meisner has been cosplaying since December 17, 2007. She has completed over 75 cosplays and costumes to date. Many consider her to be a young prodigy of costuming and having produced several cosplays and costumes of quality and craftsmanship beyond her age. Those high, okay, I'll get faster on this. Uh, her high school student has been uh, pattern designed, and while clothes really a labor of love, one day we expect to see her representing the United States of the World Cosplay Summit. Please welcome us in welcoming our second and final honorary guest judge, Flo! Yeah. She made those swords by herself. And now on to our contestants. Are you all ready? Yeah. Cosplayers, are you ready? And our first contestant, we present. Manamana. 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 From our stage ninja, literally. Hi! Phenomena. Phenomena. Oh, for real? Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, that's my line. Wait. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, number one, Tankin. Deanna McRae, cosplayer. Alisa. So, tell me, is this your favorite cosplay? Yes. And what do you like most about Tankin? Well, a lot of things, really. <laughs> and what's your favorite anime? My favorite anime has to be Yu Gi Oh! GX, and I think it has to be um, Hard Capture Sakura. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> So go ahead and take a walk around. Ladies and gentlemen, our first of the cosplayers today, big round of applause for Tekken.
There will also be another photo opportunity at the end of the cosplay. Strike a pose. Look angry. No, smile. And now look like Godzilla's attacking. Yeah! That's my favorite. Okay, cool. Thank you. Last minute instruction, sorry, it's still early. I'm an actor, it's before noon. Anyway, and cosplay number two, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX by Freddy Roger Garcia, character cosplay as Jesse John Anderson. Oh, that was you! Yeah! Well, then where's number one? He is number one! Oh, well, one more round of applause. Go ahead and make sure you take a look at the judges. Front for the judges. Go a little bit. Contested number... Oh, okay. Roger! Roger! Look cool for the camera. Freddie Roger Garcia, character playing as Jess Juan Anderson. Our next cosplayer, number four, Black Butler, Liz, cosplaying as Sing Pantomini.
Guys or girls? Uh, ooh, I think girls. I think the better talking skills that guys do. Just gonna call it out. What do you guys think? Are girls better gamers or are guys better gamers? Your Honor, that's how it all started. Honestly. Cool. So, uh, what are their favorite games? Let's see what favorite games are. Katamari, Galaxy, Okami, Psychonauts, Dragon Quest, Mother One, Two, Three, of course. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and take a quick look at some judges. One more round of applause, please. Garcia cosplay as Jason Jurayuki. So tell me, what is your favorite thing about this cosplay? Um, I think the thing about him is his wig and his jacket. Now, how long did it take you to make the wig and or the jacket? Um, probably half a year. Half a year? Yeah. Wow. And uh, what's your favorite character? Jaden. Jaden. So what's your favorite thing you like to play when you're playing? Um, I guess it's like So let's get your game on. Go ahead and take a walk around and click past our judges. Say, Jade, do you play card games on motorcycles by any chance? <laughs> card games on motorbikes. Right, Look Look like you're ready to throw down the cards. What? You're facing down your opponent. Take and make this out there. About a month, the wig, two weeks, 
Now, I hate, I hate to say this, there must be some extra dimensional television thing around them. Well, I noticed you had this rather non-characteristic thing on you earlier. And only because I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, I gotta... I knew it! I knew it! Sonic screwdrivers around the world. I still think Setsons are cooler than Fezzins, that's just me though. Okay, go ahead and take a walk around and go, make sure you go past the judges. Take your pictures now. And looking ultra cool. these people, they just asked me off the screen. I didn't quite, I didn't quite, I didn't quite hear that. Was that card games on another box? It was card games on mopeds. Wait, no. Nashville. It was, it was card games on spaceships. No, wait. I, I look mean. And your little brother has seen Godzilla. Well, I meant him. Yes. That's a Stardust train. That's really nice. And you know what cosplayers really appreciate? Lots of applause and rounds of applause. So you know... <laughs> and next, number 12, Sucker Punch, Veronica Dawn. Karis Blake is Baby Doll. So tell me, Baby Doll, what do you like most about Sucker Punch? your favorite world in Sucker Punch? You want to be in the medieval castle and kick some butt? Can you kick some butt? Yes, I can. Go ahead, stretch yourself around the front of the judge in front of this crowd. Show them you can kick butt. You all are doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Can I be evil and why doesn't Sailor Moon have characters like this? Boys seem pretty masochistic today because they're not answering. We're, we're 
you're distracted. Shiny. Swords. Right, guys? Just nod. Say yes. Okay. Just nod and say yes. You guys are awfully Ed. quiet out there, you know. There's a pretty girl on the stage. Why aren't you clapping? Cosplayers, you guys should be showing support to your buddies here. Wait a minute. Just, because, just because I'm wearing the dress. Oh, we mean her. Never mind. Okay. I thought those were Hakama. By the way, ever since wearing Hakama, I have a greater appreciation for all you ladies who have to wear skirts. Getting up the stairs is crazy. It is really hard to stay kid friendly yeah. when all these jokes are flying around. You hear that, boys and girls? This is rated PG. For now. is number 20, Vocaloid, Irene Cruz, uh, playing as Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Hello Hatsune, how are you doing? Yes, what's your favorite part of this cosplay? <laughs> how long did it take you to make this cosplay? Uh, it just had a butterfly dress and then I just sewed the white face and then I made the on. And what's your favorite music? <laughs> Hope you Is that is that a real leak? Wow. It's a real leak. That is a real leak, you guys. So weren't you just here for a concert recently or, or what? Phenomena. I'll catch you next time, Deadpool. Next time. <laughs> 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 
Hey! Go for the judges. Stay in front of the judges. judges. So how many are looking forward to the new Deadpool live action movie? Yeah. Who do you think should be in the live action Deadpool movie? Yeah, this is his best cross. side. I... Next entry, entry number 26, The Melancholy of Harushima by Amanda Hayward, Alex Fry, Richard Lee, Alex Beja. Character cosplaying is Haru, Itsuki, Kion, and Mikuru. Guys, you come on up now. No, they're not here. She actually ran off to go chase an Esper or a Slider or something, so she told us to move on without her. Look, shiny. An unidentified flying Okonomiyaki. From Final Fantasy 13. Oh. Woo! Oh. Lightning and thunder strikes. You know what this oh, reminds me of, Nathan? Hi there. I'm fine, and you? And anything else particular shopping with? I have to say, I got a lot of high school. Says the person who's short. So, what's your, what was the most difficult part of this entire costume for you? The sword. What's your favorite part about your cosplay? Um, that having been said, like Jimmy, go ahead and stretch yourself. Show them that you can kick ass. Don't forget to be in front of the judges. She has a sword. Smile. Clap. Something. I. Woo! Where, where is he? The next guy on stage. Oh, she's with the judges. He's right, no, he's, he's supposed to be a, a ninja guy. Ah! Hi. So, what's your favorite part about being a ninja? Oh, sick thing. Just let's begin. <laughs> okay, so he likes skewering. Okay, so that I mean, go ahead, show off stuff, strike a pose. You're sneaking up on yourself. You've encountered Godzilla. He's hiding, smart man.
What's your favorite part about this? And what's your favorite part about this costume? And if you were really a, a showbiz robot, what would be the most important thing to you? And if you had a real showbiz robot, what would you like most about it? That works out really well. Go ahead, show off your wonderful outfit. Don't forget to stand in front of the judges at some point. How many people out there wish they had a real Chobits robot for those of you know Chobits? Right. How many of you are in college and really wish they could help you out with your homework? How many wish we could go back in time and that they have some cavemen like mine and have them for your homework? Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Yeah, sure. Okay, Eddie! All joke, trust me. I'll pay you the five bucks later. Uh, So, we are going to play a game. I just have to wait for my co-host. Hello. Give it up for Nathan. This here is my buddy Nathan. He is the co-manager, is it, of the Three Copulous Syndicate? We are partners in gluttony and karaoke. Security. And this year, this lovely lady is the lovely Paige, our fearless leader. Give it up for Paige and Nathan. This, this, this one here, I introduced her earlier. She has blue hair because she's, she's cool like that. She cool like that? She cool like that. She cool like that? She cool like that. Take a bow, because you're our lovely artist. Is that not true? You did make that pretty picture from the event page on Facebook. Yeah, because we all know I can't draw a straight line to save my life, so. Hey, come on. Right here. Hey, it's true. I think the logo was actually designed by Jackie, right? No? Yeah, I, the one with Victini that's in a little frame on there. But aside from all that, we I want to show our appreciation for all of you who decided to come out and grace us with your wonderful appearance. You could win a... You, every, everybody. Did you win a prize yourself. for this? Beautiful people, we love you. Can you win a prize for this, bitch? Who wants a prize? You can win an awesome prize for doing this. Okay. I'm going to tell you something a little, a little bit about I'm going to tell you just a little bit about it. Oh, so I live on TV. And I'm older than you. This guy, he wants me to sing half the songs from Animaniacs. I don't even know half the words. That's true. I can do it, but I'm, gonna do it. I'm not doing it right now. So. Well, you can't do it. Same. But one of my favorite shows growing up is actually a show that's being, uh, that's being rebooted now on Cartoon Network. Tell me, have you ever heard of the name Thundercats? Yeah. I am so glad you said that because there is one phrase from that entire show that's iconic. Nobody else does it. Would you like to know what that phrase is? Vanna White. Okay, Chantel here is going to be cosplaying as Vanna White for two seconds. This is what you could win. One of these lovely, it is, a, it is, a, is it an art book? I think it's an art book. And it includes, oh it's a photography book by Shimokoshi Haruki. And it's been donated by the wonderful people at PMX. Donated so by lovely people at PMX. Yeah. There's also some buttons and some cute little stickers and a bookmark in the back. And you can also win a neat little Viz Media bag. I use those things to carry my groceries in. They are wonderful accessories. Ladies Thank you, Ben and White Chunk. Ladies and gentlemen, the phrase that I'd love to share with every, each and every single one of you. Almost. Thunder. 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 Thundercats! Ho! Excuse me, what did you just say about Chitara? Easy <laughs> kitty. That was appalling, sir. It's canon. 
Yeah, but still. All right, so is there anyone in the audience that can help me my, uh, <laughs> putting it lightly? Come on, don't be shy. Rise and fall. Give you free and eternal glory. <laughs> come on, come on. Who wants to try? Thank you, it's the blue. Contestants in the cosplay contest are definitely allowed to try to outdo me. Alright, are you ready, sir? You don't know what you have to say? We're trying to hit the man in red, you're blue! You are getting some reference to Mine looks like Do you need a reminder? Do you need a reminder? I think he does. Audience, can you remind him what he's supposed to say? Thunder! Thunder! Let's have them battle. Let's have them battle. Ready? All right, let's do this. You ready for it, Jesse? Yes. You ready? Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, Go. thunder yes. Go. So, finish. Go. I don't know. I don't. I, did, does anybody out there know Thundercats? I know you're out there. So now, how are you doing? I can't do it because I know Matt Mercer was playing. You go first. Hold on, I'll be right back. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder catch! Oh! Woo! Okay. 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 What? What is your name, sir? Okay, Ricky. Think you can drop that? Can you outdo him? Try. 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 Do or do not. We got this. There is no try. Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. Wait, I looked at them and I thought you should pick them out. Wait, Show me, it's all over the night. I don't know where the prize is. Are you 
you should go grab some. Five ninety nine. But for you, sir. For you, sir. Me for you, sir. I was very impressed. But yet you fired up an echo. That's it. You fired up an echo. But no, that echo was actually. Good. It rivaled mine. Almost. This is for you. You are brave. Are you guys ready to continue the contest? Yeah. I know I am. I know I am. Actually, I'm a lot more ready to sit down and give this mic over to someone who's much more deserving. Mr. Do you care what kind of fan I get you? Hi, everybody. is Naruto Kakashi. <laughs> Naruto, get up there! So, tell us what you like the, being Naruto. Because... And if you had a super ninja power, what would it be? To see through walls. That works out. Go ahead and show them your stuff. <laughs> It's the Hong Kong Book of Kung Fu, for those of you who know that reference. And the blank stares just proves I need to pick up on my hand. Is it anyone else want to see the live action version of Hong Kong Fui? Or is it just me? It's just me. Okay, thanks. I want to make sure. Stage Ninja, you want to pass around some more stickers? Up next is Toby from Naruto. Toby! Oh, Naruto. Is he a good boy? So, tell me about this. Is this a voodoo doll of some sort? Okay. What's the most favorite you like about being out of it was incredible. I can understand every single word he says in front of the map. So go ahead and show off your stuff. Strike a pose. <laughs> Don't forget to show up to the judges behind you. Great night robe for me. Uh, you know, night time, go to the kitchen, grab some coffee and some ice cream. wants candy. Incoming. Over there. Yeah. I won. Thank you. So, up next we have Rin Kigamine from Vocaloid. Hello Rin, how are you? Okay. So what do you like most about being in there? Being here. Absolute favorite cosplay? We like it too. Go ahead and show them all your stuff. Wait a 
minute, when did this turn into a Marx Brothers routine? Wait a minute. Bleach your favorite top anime. Second. What's your first? And what is the most you like about being in this costume? That having been said, go ahead, take a walk around. And your honor, that's how it all Who wants more stickers? Raise your hands. I got a sticker. Raise your hands. Sorry, we're out of candy at the moment. We'll have some more. But you can get stickers. Stickers are free. <laughs> the candy will get at you. So, at the moment, uh, this is the point where they ask, Tadao, tell them a story. Uh, so, how many can figure out I'm sort of Japanese? Right? Kind of. Maybe. Not really. No. So, I used to work at my uncle's restaurant up in Sacramento. And, uh... The problem is, is that I, I am the only guy in the family who actually burns sushi. Funny story, that. Uh, so I, in the restaurant, we're at the state capitol, everyone orders lunch boxes beforehand, and so they want to get going, and so we have to make lunches beforehand. So we're all in the kitchen. I get this little small area near the doorway, and I'm an actor. Getting up before 2 o'clock in the afternoon is like dawn for me. You know, it's bad enough, there's light out there, I go out, and it's like, Phew. turn into dust. So, you know, I have to get up at like, oh gosh, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, get to my uncle's restaurant while I'm up there. And we're all cutting fish. Now, if you've never seen a sushi chef before, occasionally we have this technique where we slice the fish and we flip it over on the side of the knife into a little dish. It's a long dish. And we just cut, flip, cut, flip, cut, flip. And it gets very rhythmic, you know, because there are like 12, 15 people doing it. That's all we're making. We're all cutting fish so that we take up all the fish. Someone comes in, switches out the dishes for an empty hot one or empty clean one. And they bring all the fish to my uncle and the other chef and they make obento boxes, which is great. And then people come in, they pay for their money, and they take the bento boxes away. Now, one day, one of the guys said, hey, get out. Um, I've got to... Um, Leave early. Kid, dentist, something odd like that. Yes. Okay, fine. And we're just tired. I go to where he's working and say, so anyway, cut, flip, cut, flip, cut, flip, cut, flip. About 10 minutes in, we're kind of going, who's cooking something? Because we're all cutting raw fish. There's no cooking allowed until like noon or 11. And it's like, what's going on? Who's making, who's someone's cooking something? And all of a sudden, everyone's going, to now, I go, what? I completely missed the dish next to me because it's a different workspace. And I hit the hot teriyaki grill that was heating up for the last three hours. I burned a whole half of a tuna. I convinced my uncle it was black and Cajun sushi. My aunt, not so much. She doesn't really want me to, like, you know, ever do that sort of thing again. Now, flash forward two weeks later. Two weeks later, same guys, I gotta go to, okay, fine, whatever. Except this time, they're smart. The restaurant, my family is smart. They put me in the middle of the kitchen. No way I can get to that hot teriyaki grill right over there. No way whatsoever. 
So I, you know, and they, I got a lot of workspace. There's no way I can hit that from way over here from where I'm sitting. The problem is, is like I said, we got to go through a lot of fish and just da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. And sometimes we have to switch out the dish. And whoever's doing the dish switches it out with a hot wash dish. You know, they have to hot wash it because we're going through so many dishes and it's only flipping and we're there. The problem is, is that someone switched out a hot wash dish for me. It was very wet, and somewhere along the line, a cup, a cup of, and you know, it's like a pachinko game. It's like a video game. You hear that da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, from all around. All of a sudden, dun, 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 dun. I'm looking at everyone. Everyone stopped. They're staring at me. I'm going, "What did I look?" And I've been cutting for like five minutes. And I flip the fish. It goes in one side of the wet dish, slides all the way over, flies out, lands into the fryer for the tempura two feet away. I don't know what's funnier, them saying flying fish or frying fish. So anyway, there you have it. I'm not allowed in the kitchen anyway. The only guy in the last couple hundred years to prefer sushi. So anyway, that have even said. Next, who's got the list? List, list. So we, we have another contestant up. Uh, Taking the intermission. That's how it all starts. Oh, wait. No. No? 
No? Maybe? Maybe? I, I'm Buddhist, I'll come back. Okay. I'm the doctor, anyway. You know, it's really funny, you're, you're, you've made such a, such a huge complaint about what you want to everything, and yet you're still standing here. Yet you're still on it. Good day, buddy. Woo! Oh, wait, 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 get back here. Get you have to be in front of the judges. You gotta get judged, come on. You must be judged. Judge. Hey. Hey. None of that. Actually, I didn't know that I wanted to read real quick while we're falling. So we want to take a minute to thank all the people who have been contributing uh, prizes and happiness to the somewhere in the back here because we're doing our cosplay parade. Cosplayers? This is the opportunity for everyone here in the uh, area to take your pictures, have some fun, as all of our wonderful cosplayers, all those who have participated, please, back to the stage. All cosplayers. If you're in a costume, we want you up here. But wait, I'm not in costume. This is my... This is what I wear when I go to Burger King. Seriously. Like, all right, guys, take your pictures. Strike a pose, cosplayers. They're taking a picture of taking a picture of taking a picture. And for those of you not taking pictures, big round of applause for all our cosplayers who took a lot of time and effort. They've made their own costumes, they've made their own props. They've come up here to be with the crazy Asian guy behind the microphone. Wait a minute. your character's favorite pose. You've just been told you made it to American Idol. Someone took the last Unagi roll. You're going out for sushi tonight. It's Nisei Wee! Look, it's Godzilla! Look, it's that guy from Heroes! <laughs> Look, it's Nathan! Hi, Nathan. Everyone hold still, they're taking pictures. They won't steal your souls much. Okay, I gotta ask, who in the audience actually has a film camera? Raise your hand. No, actually, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. How many people actually have a Yeah, I know you do, I just wonder. Cosplayers, cosplayers, cosplayers. 
Remember, this is a PG area. Okay, everyone make a silly face. Okay, now, thank you cosplayers, thank you audience, as we're getting to our next portion of the big round of applause for everyone, including yourselves, thank you. And now we're going to have Suzanne. Suzanne. To continue on with our show, Suzanne, you're seeing And who wants stickers? Raise your hand. Stay ginger. Find stickers. Thank you, sir. I just figured. Stickers, stickers are free. Right? So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll continue on. Okay. Suzanne, are you ready? Sorry, I just don't know. Suzanne, you all set. All set. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to check in every now and then. Hours and hours. I mean, so, big round of applause, please. Hi. 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 I'm Zanny. Hi. Nice to meet you.
Would you mind sending it to us? We'll give you credit. Just make sure you send us your name and everything. All right. One more round of applause. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, attention, all cosplayers, please gather up towards the, black, uh, the, the back. The back. back, back, Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to announce our winners for today's cosplay masquerade. Janelle! Janelle, we love you! Hi, guys. I'll give you the five bucks later. Hi. Gentlemen, as all our cosplayers are ready, we would like to start off. Attention, cosplayers, we're about to announce the uh, winners. I'm going to have everybody lined up in the front, please. Cosplayers, please be on stand. Yo, if you guys want your prizes, you better get over here now, because I'm happy taking them home. <laughs> Woo! Did you need more specific? No, I didn't. Okay, starting with. Can I wait till they all get up here? Round of applause as they all get up here. They spend a lot of time. Yes, guys, come on. Let's get a lot of time for this. Round of applause, guys. Round of applause. Woo! Oh, come on. Woo! Woo! Wow, that was good. Is everyone here physically? Uh, mentally, we're not so sure, but physically, are you here? Um, raise your hand if you're here mentally. Okay. We'd like to do first our honorary mention goes to Naruto, QB, Cece, Tessie, there you are. Congratulations to me, what, what's in the prize bag? What was in the prize bag? In the prize bag, you, you got prizes in the prize bag. You got posters, a pop piece of DVDs, bracelets, and also a t-shirt. Pick a front, pick a bow, strike a pose. He's getting there, she's getting away with the, the prize bag. There we go. <laughs> Second place, Kai Hime. Lauren, hey. there you are. Congratulations. Woo. Second place, Kai Hime. Second place, Kai Second place, Kai Hime. Second place, Kai Hime. Second you see Fudo. Cindy! Congratulations! Woo! Yeah. 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 Judges 
Award. Presented in recognition of exemplary skill in costuming and leadership within the cosplay community. Congratulations, ladies. with drinks and for our cosplayers for that. Thank you all. Thank you for this really awesome. And well, you know, and of course, I've got to thank my staff. I've got to thank our wonderful MC, which I forgot to keep all your parts. I'm wondering you. Oh, the tech crew, you guys were absolutely amazing. Can we get an applause for the tech crew? Hey guys, right over here. Oh, you guys right here. Photo shoot. Guys, I'm on a photo shoot. Okay, and of course, our wonderful cosplayers.
again for you. See you around.